Knights can do. I doubt it. Oh! oh I'm out of jet juice. I know my warlock's not taking prestidigitation in favor of minor illusion. Oh, Jesus. What? I can do... Two damage. If I did observant, I could have a passive perception of 24. <laughs> Don't. But it would make sense, too. That you will automatically notice everything ever as long as you're not looking for it. <laughs> Plus, it also gives me a passive... There's also passive intelligence in this that we never use. Investigation? Yeah. There is, and I don't know what that means. What passive investigation is. Squids. Maybe if you're not directly looking for something. I love how this... Look at, the, look at this, Joe! <laughs> He's just checking. Oh. <laughs> what, what was, was that? that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Best guard. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. I also like that we both thought the same thing at the same time. What was that noise? <laughs> Alright, I think I know. This is the boss I keep expecting. Look at him, he's cool! He's like a weird Titania. Also, I found. I found. Uh, look what I did. He can't do anything to you now? Nope, I'm in his blind spot, right in front of him. But unfortunately, I need to hit his head. How do I hit him? Is in that? I can also do this. Yeah, do you see that? I need to be a bit closer, but I can actually do something silly here. Oh, you can throw the platforms at him? Yes. They do one damage, though, which makes me mad. This is going to be a long fight. For you to troll the boss? I'm in his blind spot. He can't hit me. And he looks cool, right? Uh, Dragon Zord? Yeah. Or the thing that Dragon Zord combines with. The, the like, messy thing that I only think, shows up, like, six times. I think it's called Titania or something. Yeah, that's what it's called. And it was very gray. Yeah. Dude, stop hitting yourself. They would just like come out of the water sometimes, and they wouldn't explain why they didn't use it other times. And they just all fuse with it and shoot their ultra mega, like just all the cannons. Yep. Forever cannons. This game liked exploding sound effects. Yeah, the power adapter is the silly power. It's the bonk things away power. Oh. <laughs> Raj did a thing. What was it? Saved a clip? You can do that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, what was that noise? <laughs> You know, this is a very bad robot design, I feel. Just saying. It, I feel it has some flaws. It's supposed to ride the platforms up to shoot it in the face, but... I don't wanna. I did it! I don't remember the other bosses of this castle. Again, whatever happened to Castle Fortress bosses having their own theme? I don't know. No. Yeah, there's still hey, two more. Hey, you use that one. What? Savage attacker. I do. It's it's pretty good if you're. Technically, you don't need to be a brutish sword. You just need to be someone who uses melee attacks a lot, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if you could use it to reroll sneak attack damage. That would probably be up to the end. <laughs> that sounds pretty strong. If so. It'd probably be one die per. Row. Oh no! <laughs> Do you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Such a silly thing. That doesn't really help because you could just kill him, but whatever, go away. Oh, they die when they hit the wall. Oh, it... Ooh, wow, that's pretty bad. We all have nosebleeds, probably. I've had some terrible ones. Uh, when what's you up? hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn, so you can stop them from running away. Oh. You know what we haven't had in this game? Oh. Um. 
Also, creatures within five feet of you provoke opportunity attacks, even if they use disengage. I mean, so if you're a big, scary, hulking man, no, I, just, I don't pretty... know if Kit really needs to be menacing his enemies like that. I mean, I guess I just walk up to him and I'm just like, "You're in. You're committed now. I committed you." Also, you can basically force an attack of opportunity if you're within range of the target and they attack someone else. I, that actually, I think, fits her, given her current mode. Well, Sentinel. whatever. Yeah, I'm going to protect these people. Yeah, look up Sentinel and argue with, uh, talk with the DM. Well, I'm going to need to... If, even though you haven't been role-playing, if it makes sense nope. given her personality. It makes sense. I mean, I'm just going to wait until I get three more inspiration points. I'm just saying, she might say that since you are so far behind, she might, he might give you one just because everyone else already has uh, quite a bit not time. hurting for capability. Uh, it's up to you, man. I think you could help us. <laughs> ah, oh no, help! I do need help! Dr. What? Alright, I don't remember these bosses. What? Oh! This guy's- Jesus! What? Sharpshooter. Oh, this thing! Look at this thing! It looks ridiculous. It looks so completely forgettable, doesn't it? Look how formidable it is! But yeah. The last part of Sharpshooter. Before you make an attack with a ranged weapon that you are proficient with, you can choose to take a minus five penalty to the attack roll and immediately add ten damage if you succeed the roll. That's risky. It's risky. Wait, specifically ten? Yeah, that's plus a, ten. That's a really specific number. It's only useful at lower levels, though, which is the other concern. I mean... Because later on, ten da I mean, ten damage is ten damage is ten yeah, damage. Yeah, but the higher level you are, the easier you are. No, you're right. You're right, because a minus five to hit could also hurt. I mean, if you have advantage, that's pretty scary, but... Yeah. With minus five, you might miss. Skilled, yeah, is the three that you were talking about. I mean... With no switch? Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean that's how nose bleeds are. You can't just turn them off. Oh, no! New, new mechanic! Wind underwater? Yes! Ooh, e tag. What could possibly go wrong? Huh. Okay. I think you approached that fan too fast for it to be effective. Was the this fish is having a fun, a lot of fun. Ooh, weapon master is fun. What is it? You can gain proficiency with four weapons of your choice. That's terrible. You also get a strength or dexterity oh. modifier. Uh, that's thing. that's not that good. It's just fun. I, is it? Be proficient with all the things. You know what else? You could be proficient in jug. <laughs> you know, like taking a level in like half of the classes will give you half the classes will give you proficiency with all weapons if you take a level in them. Yeah, but the only other problem is that if you do that and that's not your main class. Things like Spellcaster become a lot more limited if you lose those last couple levels. I guess. You don't even need a couple levels. Just one level in a fighter and you know all the weapons and all the armor forever. All over the world. And if you're a You just can't cast spells while wearing a lot of that armor. Nope. The rule for casting with armor is you cannot cast spells... Unless you're proficient in the armor. Right, if you're proficient with heavy armor, you can wear all the armor all the time and cast spells. So in other words, the Geomancer in this gen is not nearly... As significant of a There's bonus. not a Geomancer. There are no I'm just saying, it wouldn't have had that same significant bonus. I'm saying you take a level in Fighter and your wizard can wear a full plate. That's good. Yeah, because wizards have terrible armor class. Oh no, it's this room! Oh, the robot masters in this game aren't that tough, except for whichever one gave me trouble. <laughs> I don't even remember. Yamato is weak against... Okay, this one... This is made from the mindset of before guns. Oh. When you are hidden from a creature and oh, yes. with a you can just weapon attack, making the attack yeah. does not reveal your position. It's a very... You can just put, uh, put a hand over the gun to muffle. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I would have suggested for you, but its effects isn't going to be helpful at all in our campaign. Yeah, yeah you, just, you just turn off the gun noises. 
forget, do you have Tavern Brawler? Yes. That's how I, I will use that sometimes, because I can just grapple something and also do damage. Oh, we have your wet weakness. I should get Spell Sniper. I do have the ability to cast one spell. And now you can do it at a great range. I'm gonna drink some soda. Tough is pretty damn good if you get it. I mean, at any point. Oh, it just gives you more hit points? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. actually better to use later, though. No. Oh, it, yeah, because it affects all future games, too, right? right? It's just the same as improved toughness from third ed. You just. You gain hit points as if. Your hit points are as if your constitution were two points higher. It's not bad. Wait. Two points. Then what? No, if we're two, no. Oh, yeah, double your level. Double your level? Maybe it's two. Because otherwise, why not just take a, increase your constitution instead of taking a feat? So it's probably even more powerful than that. Otherwise, it's worthless. So, yeah, it's probably the equivalent of four points of constitution, but only for hit points. Yeah, it's four points of constitution because it's two modifiers higher. Okay, that's good stuff. Which means that if you've maxed out constitution, it's a sneaky way to add more hit points. Not that you need them. How many people... Well, constitution is something every no one can dump. It's not really something anyone's going to go... Many people will go all in on. I either. would have argued that I might have started putting into constitution after dexterity. It's never bad to have. The only reason I wouldn't is because my character, I feel, is more focused on intelligence. Otherwise, I totally would have done it. Oh, you, you've... Since Herman freezing time isn't that scary a lot of the time, because he's kind he of bad... He did it and then just totally like, missed look. you anyway. Oh, you know, he can hit you. Okay, so, no, he's a dick. You have to stand at a specific distance away to negate it. Also, since Herman cannot jump... But he can telefrag you. Look, I'm doing the running man. <laughs> I just love that. Of all the running masters, I think Centaur Man is the only one who never jumps. <laughs> I'm just pointing my gun at him. Sorry, uh, I keep doing that. That's the other reason I don't like the drop box. Because I always expect all the things to open in a new tab, and they don't, and then I exit the tab and have to reload everything. I can understand that. Well, I can show you the... After I beat this game, I can show you the player's companion on my phone. It's really hard to read on your phone. Okay. You don't have phone vision? No, I have fat thumbs. Mega Nanny, what? What are you talking about, Raj? Mega You're silly. Nanny is the best man. Oh, no, it's Toma Bobo. Unearthed Arcana, I think, is the one that has the other one I had looked at using earlier. I don't know they had feats. I think it's... No, it's not on Earth Dark Hunt. It's whichever one's the elemental thingy. Elemental evil? Yeah. I know they have a whole bunch of cantrips. They do have a lot of cantrips. I like how instead of walking at you... Oh, hey, prestige classes. Tom Hawkman just is the tiniest hop. I don't know why I was afraid of Tomahawk Man. He's kind of a silly goose face. Yeah, it might have been the shape of the room. I think we're going to say the shape of his head. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary. I mean, it is a war bonnet. And he throws it at you. So he's also a good loud. Well, he doesn't throw the whole bonnet. He throws pieces of it. Which is probably the scariest attack amusingly. I hate, oh, Flame Man, you're, you're not nice! You don't like enemies that can spawn their attacks uh in <laughs> was so amazing. It's scary. You're like Tomahawk Man. He does that too. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I give up, Dad. I was really concerned that was going to hit you in the head for a second. <laughs> Fire is effective against ice. You go to bed. You scared Raj too, damn it, Tails. Does he go to bed? <laughs> yes, probably. Oh, if, that... if he can sleep after that. <laughs> He's haunted by the letter A repeatedly. 
drink my gook, and just punch a ski instructor. Ganassi. Yeah, they're they're I like water Ganassi. Oh my god, that guy wants to be mint. But he has way too much face paint. He did it wrong. <laughs> is this the last level? I think it is. Oh, there was no boss there. They're just all the other bosses. He's a bald barbarian. He's Kratos. Yep, sure. it's time to fight Dr. Willy. I swear. You I'll knocked Raj out of his chair, you dick! I didn't knock anybody out of any chairs. This is... That's a little bit exaggerated. Oh, it's Metal Poton. Nope, it wasn't elemental evil. Oh, if you destroy the Poton, the Metals died. Oh, it's Eddie! What are you doing here, Eddie? Thanks, Eddie. I thought you were a monster or a robber. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they sound like. <laughs> That's what robbers sound like. That's, that's why 